Hey everyone. So what I want to tell you about today is I'm going to talk about why well, I call it the countdown into depth, but specifically what this is, is this is why meditation is so important after you do a practice. Um, this could be any practice, breath work, yoga practice, Tai Chi, Qi Gong, Nidan, whatever it is. Uh, practices that I offer through my sort of sexual energy program. The the important thing to remember here is, is that the meditation is so important because that's the recalibration time, right? So you got to think of the mind in three aspects. You have a positive mind, a negative mind, and the neutral mind. So the positive mind is uh, attaching. It's, it's driven, it's external, it's attaching, right? So that means busy, right? So people are like, oh, well, the opposite of that must be not busy, right? The negative mind, well, kind of. The negative mind is inertia. That is density, that's a stuckness or an anchoring. And again, not bad, but it's also, it's also protective, right? So the negative mind is protective. It's armoring, things like that. So, but that's still, you know, even though it's the opposite of the sort of busy, you know, positive mind, the, the negative mind in and of itself is, is an effort, right? There's an effort there. It requires some effort. I mean, those of you who tend to be very, very negative, you exhaust yourselves. Um, you know, all the armoring, all the tension, it, it may be a subconscious exhaustion, but it's happening. So neutral mind, the meditative mind, right? So that, that is not positive nor negative. That is the space in between. That is the middle path. So the necessity here is to meditate after you do some activity or practice. And that meditation is so essential because it helps, I, I would say it's a recalibration period, right? So, so when you're doing some particular practice, it's meant to move energy. The purpose of all yoga, all breath work, everything is simply to move energy, right? It's to move energy, that's it. And when the energy is moving, you need to allow it to find its homeostasis once again, or balance. The balance is realized through the neutral space, through the meditative mind. Now, this is just a very quick tip. How, one of the ways that I found to get into the net meditative mind, because I have, a, I have a mind that wants to analyze everything, okay? So, and my analysis of everything is sometimes ridiculous. Uh, I, I call it stupid analysis. So there's a lot of stupid analysis that happens. And so I'll go into meditation and I'll reach a certain depth my analytical mind kicks in and starts analyzing what I'm perceiving, which then blocks it, right? So I'm having this vision. Oh, I love visions, right? I love these like waking dreams. But then I come in and I start analyzing it. Like my analytical mind kicks in and ruins it. It's a little frustrating. So one of the, th one of the things I've learned is that there's a, a way to do this. And it's a bit like a self-hypnosis in a way. Um, I hesitate to use the word hypnosis, but... It's a bit like self-hypnosis. So, sorry, there's some noise in the background. Hopefully uh, you can't hear that. But so this idea is to count from one up to number 10. Um, this idea is that as you're counting from one to 10, let's say you do your yoga practice, you're sitting in meditation, you have one. So the one space is when, right when you close your eyes, there's a certain space where your awareness is. It's a certain degree of depth, right? So you have your one space, and this is very tricky to illustrate, by the way. So you have your one space, which feels a particular way. So then you take an inhale, exhale, two, right? So, so you feel two. Well, the two space is a little bit deeper than the one space. So now the two space, though, which you wait, is you wait for it to sort of balance out and to calibrate. So I know when I go into the two space, it's a little deeper, it's a, I'm a little more calibrated, I feel a little more centered. All right, so I wait till I feel balanced in the two space, then inhale, exhale, three, right? So three is a little bit deeper yet. So I'm a little deeper, three space, I wait for the energy to settle, I'm present, right? So you see what's going on here. Same thing, inhale, exhale, you go into four. So in other words, you don't count down the num or excuse me, count up the numbers to 10 in a sort of, um, it's not a progressive, mental, reasonable, rational, linear kind of way. 
because there's feeling that has to come into here is that each one of these steps up to number 10 is going to have a feeling sensation so each one of these 10 spaces actually represents 10 depths 10 different degrees of depth so you have your four space and you have your five your six your seven your eight your nine your ten right so by the time you get to ten you're just completely as deep as you can possibly go and it's a, that's the very rich sort of immersive you know that immersive space where the ego has become very 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 small right so and the point is is that each time you progress you want to make sure you progress to the next level of depth on the exhale right the exhale is a sort of purifying breath as you exhale you purify you clear you cleanse you move the nervous system into its parasympathetic or rest and digest half so i think that's all i want to mention about that um hopefully you understand now why meditation is so important uh, again because it helps the endocrine system and the nervous system rebalance and also we want great depth there we want the ego to not be so engaged because when the mind moves the ego moves and if the ego and the mind are moving then the energy is moving within the body meaning that there's no um, it becomes much more difficult to reach that homeostasis that balance point so with all that said thank you for watching the video